And so, so the, the, the final game of the, the semifinals match has started. We slid into Ether Vial as the first play on Sam Cajarella's side for the, the fish deck. And on the right hand side, see what Pat McGregor with the aggro loam deck can cook up. Pat, Pat, uh, Pat has a mox that I'm going to work with here. Um, not casting it. I'm a little surprised. Maybe, I mean, he's got no two drops. Let's hold it up. I mean, casting out force is a little, a little odd, too, if he wants to try to get that seismic assault in as quickly as possible. Yeah, I mean, the reason he played the force obviously goes to the wasteland, but, um, I mean, I think he can, he can just, yeah, he can really just play what a foot is. Vile is a powerful magic card. Ship, so. Sand didn't draw land there. Yeah, sand didn't design. draw land here, so he's going to be, uh, his pile's going to be working gonna, overtime, probably. Yeah, his pile's got a lot of work to do with this game, especially because the cards in his hand are double blue, so. So yeah, this crusher is gonna this crusher is gonna join the party real fast. He's gonna make this game real quick. Yeah, so in Pat's hand is a seismic slot, two crushers, and a couple of hands. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna discard here. Fire just, just, yeah. And he does have a fire spout, so. I don't see. Uh, Sam's in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, he's looking he's looking okay. He should definitely get a basic mount out of his deck here. He can back the waste for the rest of the game that way. And cast a crusher on turn two, which is obviously very good. And. Get uh get the ball rolling here. Yeah, pressure's gonna be really good. Yeah. With uh I believe no force of will in sight. But it's a good thing we left those curse catchers. Nice type of <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it's really gonna stop him cold in his tracks. It is. Sam looks through his options. I don't see anything. Yeah. I think you could definitely. They're questioning the keep uh, by, by Sam. Do you think he would have kept that hand? Uh, I'm actually okay with the keep, to be honest. Go ahead. Um, he has the best card in his deck in his hand. Um, you know, the waste, the waste could have potentially messed with his draw. I mean, it's a, it's a risky keep, but I'm not sure how much better... Uh, I'm not sure what, what else he's usually looking for, isn't it? It does look like he's less effective currently. Yeah. <laughs> he's got what he wanted. He, he doesn't have any kind of true things here. Yeah. He's going to be pretty good, but I mean, you know, Curse Catcher is pretty embarrassing. Even though I've played this deck like a million <laughs> times. Do you think those should be Cure Great Glass Bitters instead? He bored those you guys out. Well... Yeah, Cure is Cure's okay. It's not great by any means. Uh, that's a Maelstrom Pulse. And this game is, uh, things have gotten bleak. I think the casting of um, Maelstrom Pulse is all... Is he man enough? Is, Pat remembers to play the land first. Yes, is he man enough? Is he man enough to cast it? Can he do it? Is he man enough to cast the Pulse here? Does he think he doesn't have it? What do you think, boys? And he's got some big balls. <laughs> and we're going to waste the response. Did we miss uh, Crusher trigger? No, Crusher just hit the pulse. That's it. Yeah, and we're gonna get this Lord of, uh, Silver Guild adept. Okay, he wants to try to you know draw a land, get himself out of this a little bit more. Or force. What do we find? We found a stifle. Boy, that's good here. <laughs> yeah. So. Go ahead. There's right now. Tell tell them to wait. Yeah. The adept, uh, adept was an idea, and we drew another lord, and this game has taken a turn for negative town. Yeah. Uh, next matchup will be on, and just as soon as this is over, guys, so well, be patient. You never know. He top eight, mm -hmm. and he might want more camera time. Some people. Well, of course. Yeah. You, so he might not just scoop. He might yeah. just battle on. Yeah. I mean, there's. Uh, I'm here already. <laughs> we uh. There are there are appeals to be had. Maybe after he plays a fire spot next turn, though. <laughs> yeah. That's end is quite Mox bad. Diamond. For Sam. Yeah. I mean, he's got he's got chumpers and you know, he sure does have he does have echoing truth in his hand, so it's not impossible. You know, running island says it's not impossible. It's it's tough. It's not impossible. Well really if he scoops at any point. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the board. Sam's hand is seven no seven creatures. Crusher.com .net.org He needs this to be an island. We'll take that. We're going to need an island and we're going to need it right now. And that's 
That is a merciful creature. That is a merciful creature. Alright, so. Just yeah, the writing's pretty much on the wall. We'll cast Fire Spout the next turn and uh, hopefully get a bunch of lands from the pressure yeah. ability. He told his map he's going to be on the internet, so. Make sure map sees his face. Up, one way. Just get the kill here. <laughs> Get this Bobby. Yep. Try Dark Thompson up. Right. And yeah, it might be 40, Aggro versus 43 land again, guys, but we'll see. Crusher uh, well, in. decides not to cast Fire Spout. Um, you know, you can. Yeah, you should have cast Fire Spout. Who am I kidding? <laughs> yeah. who, who are we kidding? Uh, I don't know what we're waiting for here. Waiting for Sam to take his feet. Okay, Norlin, 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 Norlin. Man, there's a Bob. Pretty okay. good with that fire spot. <laughs> <laughs> How about an island? How about a Lord of Atlantis? Not How right. about that? No island. That is not, not an island. Not that I don't like Merfolk or anything, but we can watch the next match. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Yeah. Shortly. You know, I mean, to be honest with you guys, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm uh, distinctly less afraid okay. when uh, you're current. It's, it's obviously questionable, that. but you know, if he, you know, if he draws running islands, then <laughs> no one's talking any garbage about him. Um, you know, one of the things, one of the things is, you know, he only he only does have 19 lands, um, so it's a risky keep. But like I said, um, Aethervile is the best card in stack in this matchup, and Crusher is. It's really, it's really, it's really not the worst keep in the world. You know, it's it's certainly questionable, but it's really not the worst keep in the world. Seven. And the fire spout and bashes in for a bunch. It's like, well, you know, there's a see me for the full time. Uh-huh. Can waste me. Oh, done and done. And done. Yeah. Waste, waste the full time. And waste <laughs> the match. I get it. So, we're going to see. Uh, Pat, Pat moves on to the finals of the Star City Games.com. Awesome.